Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and full review of this one Moo telescope. The listing on Amazon says upgrade telescope for kids and adults with 70 mm aperture up to 400 mm uh, astronomical refractor telescope, portable and so on. So on it's listed for around $106 comes with an extra 10% now so you can get it for below $100 doesn't look too bad it's a rather new one it has a 5 times finder scope it has up to 132x magnification so actually looking pretty good it has also a smartphone holder I mean I've already tested a similar device a couple of months ago and it completely failed i mean i've been able to use the normal uh, ips here to see something that the quality was not really bad but overall it was a huge disappointment especially the smartphone holder totally failed and the whole construction i would say was super super cheap i mean i am not expecting a huge improvement but uh, just a little bit and especially regarding a smartphone holder i expect some improvement if it's uh, not working with the smartphone yet yeah, then usually it's a fail these days i mean this is uh, what people want to see you want to uh, be able to take photos and share them with your friends i mean in 2021 it's not enough when you when you're uh, telling your friends yeah i have seen something but you cannot share you really have to share something so we are going to find out here we have a number cf4 0070 i don't know if this is the model type there's not more on the box so i'm going to open and show you what we get and maybe also the instructions manual yeah there's one thing i always want to let you know and this here already on the box is really really important warning never look at the sun directly with this device total different thing i mean we are used to use uh, smartphones when you're using smartphone or anything with an lcd and you're looking into the sun that's no problem i mean the the screen never can hurt but this thing here can magnify the sun uh, a, a lot and if this thing hits your eye uh, yeah it can definitely cause permanent damage so especially if you're giving this to uh, children uh, make sure that you always are watching what they are doing so the whole set comes with this nice carry box it's really really nice that we get such a carry box i mean the last telescope had some kind of uh, like backpack but of course it's a little bit difficult to use everything especially uh, with the tripod so here with this large tripod and larger telescope yeah it's a much better solution i would say and first as already promised here the instructions or installation manual uh, yeah 11 pages i hope i can show you everything and it is i hope it's focusing nicely so you can see everything i don't know if they have a web page sometimes these uh, manufacturers they don't have a website or maybe it's not available on the website so this can help a lot if you bought used or you just lost instructions or if you want to make a better buy decision so just make sure that you go on to the highest resolution on YouTube, usually 1080p, and then put it on pause on every page. And as long as it's focusing nicely, you should be able to see everything and read everything. Uh, yeah, that's something you can see. It looks really like they don't have their website because they're using Hotmail email address i mean at least they have some support but it looks definitely like they don't have the website so this can be really really helpful and here we have the mobile phone clip uh, yeah that's always a, or could be always a little bit of a problem i've been trying many many of these things usually what's the problem here when you have like a thicker phone then it can be a problem you can see these brackets are not really wide but we are trying to find out how good this thing is 
Then here we have the tripod. Uh, it looks like it's pretty decent tripod. I would say this is for this price range. It's a really nice one. It's even, I think, better than the one which I'm using here to make my YouTube videos. You can change a lot. Uh, almost everything is changeable. And you have this standard tripod mount. Then all these uh, eyepieces, magnifying thing then even i don't know what, what this could be really no clue maybe a remote control or so yeah that would be uh, really nice if you had this so you don't have to touch your phone while making uh, the recording and then we have the centerpiece the real telescope and i would say this looks really decent it's definitely on a much higher uh, quality level yeah even though it makes a little bit of a strange no noise but uh, i would say the whole thing is on a total different level than the thing which we had last time so i have quite some expectations that this could be uh, better than the last one so here again you can see everything what you get in one view it's pretty comprehensive set and this is really remote control here we have the barlow lens i mean it's actually not a real lens i think it's more like an extension and uh, yes yeah, so we have everything here and i'm going to show you how to assemble that so as first thing of course we want to mount the telescope so this uh, comes on top here on this screw and we should be able to tighten that there's also a bolt here you can see i think this should fit into this thing here so probably this should go like that yeah i heard even a little bit of a click and i think it's uh, matching perfectly to this socket underneath it has a really nice hold here let's point the camera down a little bit here we have the tray that's actually the holder for the things which you don't need you just have to screw this in here and one of the most uh, difficult parts uh, with the last telescope has been the viewfinder we have to remove these nuts here and then we place this holder here yeah, i think it has to go to the back so it should be like this and then we put the nuts back so pretty easy the actual real problem is then only how to secure this here and usually there's a lot of space in the same thing here you can see that there's a huge amount of space and we have these three screws i mean we can nicely uh, position and uh, point it towards the same location where the telescope is pointing but it's a really really difficult job to point it in i mean to, to adjust it uh, just with these three screws this can take maybe i don't know 20 minutes or so if it's fully uh, aligned with the normal telescope i can tell you i had huge problems last time and i can tell you this will be exactly same thing i think uh, i mean i'm not saying it's not working of course this can work but to uh, align this uh, with these three screws can be really really difficult and at the end here i think we don't have much choice maybe you have to release this thing here and so we can either use directly the nine millimeter which is actually the higher magnification than the 25 millimeters this is the lowest magnification and on top of that we can add the barlow lens if we have it here and it will increase uh, this magnification by three times or we can also use it here and here we have the highest magnification the k9 with the bar load and we have around uh, 132 times so the best thing is uh, to start with this thing here alone and don't add anything else if you have find the right spot where you want to point at then either switch to this one here or add the barlow or even put this both uh, of them here then we are trying with the most or probably most difficult part here and that's the smartphone holder you can see can increase the size here but there's no 
uh, screw, no nothing, but you can just like from the beginning with the normal setting you can increase the size pretty much but it's pretty strong it's pushing hard on your phone but uh, i think it should survive so i've added easily now my xiaomi me8 uh, light that's a six point i think two eight inches so pretty decent size here inside and there was still some gap here so you don't have to be worried that it, it won't fit no matter how large your phone is the problem is only regarding the on off button you can see that here you shouldn't go any further than uh, close to the on off button otherwise it will push hard to this button and do crazy stuff and you can't use your phone the question is then only uh, can we increase the thing as far as we need to go to the camera i mean a lot of the cameras are here in this area and you can see how tight this is this is really really tight but i think we can do that i'm not 100 percent sure but it's a challenge so if you have a larger phone especially when you have your power button uh, pretty far down uh, below it can be a challenge to use that i can tell you so now we have to align to this camera of course you have to find out which camera it is uh, yeah i would definitely not use the wide angle camera but the normal camera i'll have to find out but you can tighten that uh, here in the middle that's the good thing so i think i have everything aligned i have the camera lens more or less centered you can see uh, here i can still see there's no frame no blockage from the picture so i think you're still good to go and we can grab this thing here and now i think we have to push this here and somehow secure it so I think we have to screw, we can use this frame here and tighten that. So in general, I would say this construction is much better than what I've seen before. I mean, I have been struggling heavily. I can tell you with my last smartphone mount, this is 100 times better. I'm not telling you that this will work 100%, but this smartphone holder is exactly how it should be. Here at the moment I'm using the 25 millimeters, which is the lowest magnification, which I think makes sense at the beginning. I would recommend to only use that, but of course you could use any lens and also the Barlow. I mean, by the way, of course, we just put, uh, we are just putting this thing back as normal as uh, the normal lens, no uh, difference. And then also we can secure this here. So I'm moving outside and try to uh, make a couple of shots. So here we are already outside and what surprised me the most how easy it was to use really after a couple of uh, minutes I mean uh, with everything the whole work I mean you are so fast uh, just put it outside and then open the dust cap in the front put the phone here and you see everything uh, really nicely already this was a big surprise when I compared how long I was trying with my old telescope here just put outside and add it and I had a clear vision already. I mean here I am on the 25 millimeter and you can see I can use the zoom and uh, I mean it's a dirt cheap phone if you have a better phone you will get better results of course but the good thing is you have everything automatic focus from your phone of course you can adjust still adjust it from uh, the telescope but most of it will be already corrected by the phone stabilized everything that's really helpful so it can actually be easier to use your phone than using the eyepiece by the way, for the photo shots, I haven't been using the remote control. I've been using the built-in timer, which uh, is included in my phone and actually every phone. And here you can see the distance, how far away uh, from the palm tree I was. So no way I could uh, achieve such an image with my phone. So here I'm moving a little bit up and down. So you can see the difference here. What you see on my phone through the telescope and in nature so it's a huge difference yeah here's an image uh, what you will see when you are fully zooming out with your phone then you will see the frame but you can zoom in on the screen and then you will have the full screen full details like this and yeah there are quite some amazing pictures which you can see here 
So I've been outside for a while and here's my final conclusion on everything on this telescope and also on the quality and functionality and everything. So how has it been working? I mean the tripod I would say definitely on the good side and that's a really really helpful thing this uh, tray here to have everything ready to pick up if you need. Then here we have the focus. So if it doesn't focus, you can focus here, so you don't need uh, to use glasses. And uh, with the smartphone, especially with the 25 millimeters, you don't have to work a lot. But, but the higher the magnification is, the more you have to work with this. So a 25 millimeter, <laughs> I didn't have to adjust at the beginning at all, but it works really good. So if you need that, you can work with that. Uh, then you have this thing here, which is really, really nice. I mean, with my last telescope, I didn't have this. And sometimes it was a little bit difficult, especially when you want to work with your phone. It can be really, really helpful to find out what's the perfect uh, position. And it works in all the positions the same. Then the viewfinder, viewfinder has been working also really good. Much better than the one which I had with my last telescope. This also works without glass. You can... Uh, change the focus here and uh, yeah I mean it, it I didn't have it uh, fully perfectly aligned with the telescope I would have to work with that a little bit but in general much better solution and not just a gimmick it, it it's really working and regarding the quality of the images uh, quality has been really good especially on the 25 millimeters the quality has been really amazing with the uh, direct viewer here or also with the phone uh, with the phone adapter i mean it has been working really good i would say this is also much better than with my old one which i had you can really put your phone here then make your uh, camera is centered and then screw this thing here i mean in general it works pretty good you can have this like this and then you secure it and then these brackets will uh, narrow in and uh, it, it feels like it's secured nicely i mean you have to make sure that it's fully pushed down and then you secure it as much as ever possible you can see now i'm at the end i can't do more and it feels pretty safe but it is actually not you can see you can easily snap this thing out no matter how hard you push the problem is that it has some soft rubber here and this goes pretty far here so these brackets would have to be a little bit longer to provide a safe hold so if you have a one thousand dollar phone yeah just make sure that it's nicely secured i had to uh, pick my phone uh, two or three times when it was close to just fall out so you have to make sure that you don't destroy your phone but usually if you don't touch too much if you don't do crazy stuff it should hold a normal phone with normal weight uh, at least for uh, some time then again to these combinations i mean again 25 millimeters has been working really nice straight out of the box for my phone and also just uh, with my eyes here absolutely no problem really nice wide view perfect and with the barlow added on top of this yeah i mean it worked somehow with my eyes and also with the phone but not really good then the nine millimeters was always a struggle you can see that here the uh, viewing angle is much much smaller than with the 25 millimeters and if you add the barlow three times on top of that it's almost impossible to see anything i'm not saying you can't see anything but for me it's more like a gimmick uh, which provides 132x uh, in theory but uh, yeah in but in real life yeah actually there's not much use uh, to this so either use the 25 millimeters then maybe even use the magnification of your phone or maybe go with the 9 millimeter but this is what i recommend 25 millimeter solid thing definitely not a toy this thing everything else yeah more like a gimmick but uh, overall i would say it's a solid device solid performance especially when i compare this thing to the one which i had before and it, it is even on a similar price range it's not much more expensive than the old one which i had so i can tell you this is a huge upgrade 
and you can definitely do something with that. It's not complicated to assemble, not complicated to use, and it can really make some fun uh, to make some pictures with your phone, which you couldn't uh, do with your phone uh, without this thing. I can tell you, it's my last uh, telescope, which also had some kind of phone mount. I've never been able to use the uh, phone. I haven't made any pictures with that one and here I went out it was even hot and humid and so I wasn't very patient I just put everything on top here removed this dust cap of course it's an uh, important thing and then I was ready to shot I mean just after a couple of seconds it's amazing how easy this works and for me yeah definitely a good buy I would say at this price point and I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it and I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, thanks for watching and see you next time.